Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well and welcome back to another Sunday Brands video. I've been doing a video like this every Sunday for the past few weeks and I plan on doing more and more in the future. So if you wanna see lots of different brands, see the tags so that you can recognize them when you find them in the wild, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and stick around and come on these thrifting adventures with me. And I'm sure you'll learn a lot along the way about reselling clothing online. That's what I'm here for. So welcome if you're new, if you're already a subscriber thank you so much for being a part of my friends and family here on youtube but today i am going to bring you 50 brands for shoes so 50 shoe brands that you need to know and are great brands to be picking up to resell online so on platforms like poshmark ebay mercari things like that so there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of good information here and there's 50 of these brands and i'm going to of course be putting what the tags look like up on the screen for you because i feel like that is the best most helpful tool to you guys to be able to recognize these in the wild is being able to see the tag and see it again and just kind of, you know, make that connection in your mind. So 50 brands, are you guys ready? Let's hop into some shoe brands that you need to know. So the very first brand on my list is Freebird, Freebird by Steven. Very, very exciting brand when you can find it. These are really nice shoes. A lot of these are boots, but they have just some really interesting styles to them. They're not just a, like a plain boot. There's like buckles or there's cutouts. There's so many unique things about these shoes. And I believe they're actually a like spinoff brand from Steve Madden or like a branch under his labels. And so they're really well made, really usually nice leather boots, leather shoes, but these can resell for hundreds of dollars. It just depends on which piece you find. So this is with the tag, this is what the bottom the shoe will look like it's very kind of unique and so i find it to be easy to recognize have i ever found it no but it is on my biggest bolos list for shoes i want to be able to find and it also usually brings a lot of attention to your store so people are always on the lookout for these so great brand to know and then the next one is called golden goose and i know i'm starting off on a bang these are brands that you're not going to find every time you go to the thrift store but i think it's still helpful to know what their tags look like because man you do not want to be like me and have found one of these brands and just left it behind because you didn't know what the brand actually was so this is to help increase your awareness golden goose very great brand purposefully distressed looking they're super cool they have a star on the side at least i'm talking about the sneakers here um but they are in the inside it says superstar and a lot of people can pass these by because they just kind of look like they've been really well worn but they're actually really nice italian made shoes so it's a very purposeful like decision on the designer's part to make them look like that and they're worth a lot of money like hundreds of dollars so another one that you should be on the lookout for and you'll have a leg up on the competition if you know what they look like okay number three is a brand that i've had a lot of you guys saying that you love to find too and i have found and sold it really recently actually and that would be rothy's rothy's are these really nice sustainable shoes that are made with recycled water bottles and recycled materials they're actually washable you can throw them in the washer super nice and they have a really great resale value I haven't found that they were selling for as much as they used to, but they're still really great sellers for like 75 to 100 bucks. Not bad at all. And for them being just like kind of like a flat with like a very like squishyish texture, like I don't know, it's a very interesting texture. Once you find them, you'll know. Um, for that, I do think that's a really good value, especially since they are a flat usually. People don't normally know to mark those up at thrift stores, and so I find them to be marked at just like normal pricing quite often just because they look kind of plain. So that is a really great brand. Love Rothy's. Then next up we have Teeks and Teeks are a really cool shoe, kind of similar to Rothy's, but these ones are like foldable. So they come when they're new in like a little box and then they like are folded flat in there. And these have this really cool blue bottom and that's one of the more recognizable attributes of Teeks. I've only found Teeks once and it was in the bins, but I still, those are really messed up shoes and I, sold, I still sold those for at least like 40 bucks. Like they were in bad condition. If you can find a pair that's in great condition you can sell them for over a hundred bucks easily so teaks are another one that kind of flies under the radar unless you know what you're looking for but then the blue bottom is another dead giveaway and then we have lock 
LOQ Lock. That is a great brand. And I found that a lot of the shoes were reselling for around $100. And I've seen some other resellers talk about this brand too. I have not found it personally, but I did look through all the sold comps and they were moving quickly and for good money. So it's on the list. Then next up we have Birkenstock. Birkenstock is a really nice, kind of more like bread and butter brand for me, except they've become so popular lately that it's been harder to find them. So if you can find, especially a clog, um, a Boston clog would be great. Or if you can find even ones that have the furry inside, those ones are really expensive and really popular. You could resell those for probably 75 to hundred bucks. And then normal slip-ons, depending on how um, gnarly they are, you could probably sell them for around maybe 40 bucks. So I'm always on the lookout for Birkenstocks and they sell quickly for me. Another more bread and butter kind of level is Crocs. And Crocs have been so popular lately. And as we're heading into really hot weather when I'm filming this, Crocs are definitely something that you can pick up and make some money on. I have sold Crocs for like 35 to 50 bucks pretty consistently. And they don't usually sit around for a long time. And their popularity is really high right now amongst teenagers. People are really liking to use gibbets again. So I think that they're worthwhile, especially if you can get them in the bins or somewhere where they're cheap, I would pick those up. Next up is Doc Martens. Of course, I just love a good Doc Martin. If you can get them for a good price, they're always, almost always worth it, I would say. I have sold so many vintage pairs of Doc Martens, so it doesn't have to be the newest, trendiest style. The whole brand, like as a whole, is pretty desirable. And also some of their vintage styles are more chunky, and those are kind of trendy right now. So it doesn't really matter to me, I think personally, what it looks like as long as it is a Doc Martin. They usually sell for at least 50 bucks. And then some of the actual like big boots and things like that can sell for closer to 100 to 200. So it's always worth looking up Doc Martens. But sometimes a lot of stores or thrift stores know these now. And so they'll get marked up to like $75 in store, which is crazy. Um, but if you can get them cheap enough, they're almost always worth it. Then next up, we have Stella McCartney. Love Stella McCartney. She makes so many beautiful pieces. Her shoes do really well. They are more like on the designer level, so they're gonna be expensive. But if you can find something from Stella, it is so good. She also has a collab, Stella McCartney with Adidas. Those will also do pretty well. So it's definitely something to be on the lookout for. Knowing what her label looks like, I'll put both up on the screen for you, but they can do really good. And a lot of her pieces will go for close to $100, if not more, for just her label. And then it's a little bit less usually for the Stella McCartney and Adidas collab, but collabs in general can do really well. And then I included this on here because this is kind of more of like a famous kind of designer level shoe brand and that is Jimmy Choo. Jimmy Choo makes good shoes and they're really sought after amongst especially people that like that desire, designer level of clothing. So Jimmy Choo, Ch Jimmy Choo shoes can do really, really well. It's kind of like the same thing as like a Christian Louboutin, something like that. Like if you find those, definitely look them up just to make sure they're not like a style that everybody hates, but on the whole, you can make some really, really good money from those. And then we have Loafler Randall, which is a really nice shoe brand as well. I feel like these all are, aren't they? But I really am focusing in on like the heels from this brand. And they also have a lot of kind of more like cutesy, like peep toe styles that have like a bow tied for like the actual part that goes over the foot, those do really well. Like they were reselling this look like for over $200, which is crazy. So if you can find this brand, Loafler Randall, I've not found it yet, but I, it's on my list now. So I'm hopeful to find it someday, but knowing what it looks like, again, it's gonna be super helpful. I could be mispronouncing any of these. So give me grace in the comments, but Prenza Schuler, <laughs> Proenza? Prenza Schuler. Pretty confident, that sounds pretty good. Um, the boots from them were selling for like $300, which is crazy. This brand in general can do really well for clothing as well, but I wanted to focus in on shoes. The boots especially are amazing, but like any other shoes from this brand also were selling for around 100. So boots, really, really nice. <laughs> always look at, if you find a pair of leather boots at the thrift, it's always worth looking them up if you don't know the brand, but they have to feel right. They have to feel good. And then other shoes from this brand too, also resells for 100. So nice brand to know. And then we have Todd's. So just Todd with an apostrophe S. And this brand can do really well as well. So boots from them can sell for $100, sometimes more. Um, flats, things like that. Maybe even like a men's business wear shoe can still do pretty good. I mean, at least 50 bucks. So I included Todd's on this list. I found it for the first time recently, was really jazzed about it. So um, I wanted to include him. 
And then we have Allen Edmonds, which is another more like kind of men's like business shoe, you know, kind of a brand. Allen Edmonds makes other things as well, but their shoes can do really well. And I was seeing that a lot of them were reselling for like usually like 75 to 100 bucks. So it just depends again on which piece you find. And usually for menswear, finding the right size is really helpful. I find that sizes nine through 13 usually do about the best. The same thing goes for women. You don't wanna find shoes that are really small or really big because not as many people wear those, but right in the middle usually does pretty well. And so I always like to look at what size they are, of course, when I'm buying them as well. But then after that, we're kind of getting into what I call my more like running, and athletic forward shoes. So we have a couple different tennis shoes, sneakers, things like that here in a row. The first one is the brand called No Bull. So, you know, like no BS, that kind of a thing. Um, but they have a brand right on the outside usually of the shoe and that's really helpful for spotting these. But these can resell for between like 50 and $75. So the resale on these is actually pretty good. And so I have not found them, but I also haven't been looking. And I just was making this list and stumbled across this brand. I was like, you know what? That's actually better than I thought. So now it's definitely on something I'm going to be looking for. After Noble, we have APL, which a lot of people do know about, but they make tennis shoes, they make sneakers, they have really cute styles. They've done a collab with Lululemon. They're really nice and it's usually pretty easy to spot them. Also though, something to note about this brand is that they're slides, the ones where you just stick your foot in and it just has the one band across. Those do really well. Like usually slides are on the lower end of shoes in the spectrum. They'll usually only resell for like 20 bucks. These ones were reselling for like 75, which is amazing. So be on the lookout for their slides. They're not anything to sleep on. And then also just tennis shoes in general, all that's selling for like 75 to 100 bucks. So great shoe brand to know. And then I put in Hoka's here, depending on a style, some styles and some colorways are more, you know, sought after than others, but I would say even if you just find like plain hokas, you can sell them for around 40 to 50 bucks pretty easily. And then if they're in a good size, not too beat up, you can sell them for more. If you find the hoka and um, the outdoor voices collab, those ones are worth a lot of money actually, can sell for like 80 to 100 bucks. So hokas are not anything to sleep on either. And then we have On Running. I love this brand. I recently found three pairs after not ever finding them. So, you know, sometimes when it rains, it pours. On Running has the little like <laughs> clouds on the bottom. They're really cool looking. They're really popular right now and can resell between like 60 and 100 bucks. Not too shabby, sometimes more depending on, again, what style you find. So it's something to be on the lookout for. And a lot of these have very interesting logos. So it's good to know them. And then I went to include this because this is a newer, kind of a thing for this brand. And I'm including Lululemon shoes on this list. They recently came out with Lululemon shoes, probably in the last year, I would say. But they, because they're newer, there aren't as many really out there to find thrifting. But when you do, they can resell for good money. I was finding that a lot of them were reselling for around like 65 to 100 bucks, even for some of their slides, the rest feel, which is kind of interesting. I personally own a pair and I bought them from Lululemon and I like my Lululemon tennis shoes. And so, it's something I would be picking up for sure if I can get it for the right price, but also because there's not a ton on the market or it's not as, it's newer. A lot of people I don't think know about them. They have recently started coming out with the Lululemon shoes. So I wanted to include that one especially too because I think a lot of times people don't know the Lululemon logo, just like, you know, the character instead of the full name. So definitely something to be on the lookout for. And then we have two more tennis shoes. The first one is called Ultra, A-L-T-R-A. -A, and a lot of those tennis shoes are selling for around 50 bucks, which is not bad. And then the other one is Kizik, K-I-Z-I-K. This one also has a label usually on the outside of the shoe, which is, makes it easier to spot. And those ones were reselling for around 50 bucks as well. So I wanna include both of those for a $50 profit, not too bad. Then we're getting into my boots category or more like work style shoes. And a lot of these I have found and have sold for good money. And so I have experienced selling these a lot and I do really like reselling leather boots. And so we're gonna jump into this category, which is Blundstones. Those are the first pair. I recently sold a pair for I think $135 on eBay. 
and they were the first pair I ever found. So I was really excited about that. So they can resell for over $100 very easily, especially depending on what your quality of the item is, if it's in good condition, things like that. But Blundstones are really sought after and it's really hard to find them to buy online for under $100. So those are great to sell. And then we have Timberland boots or Timberland shoes, I should say in general. Their boots do particularly well. I do find like their work boots can sell pretty well. And they also have, you know, Timberland more like women's boots. I've sold a pair of Chelsea Timberland boots for like 60 bucks this last month. And then I've also sold quite a few pairs of just boots from them in general. I have a couple of like low shoes from them in my store right now, but anything that's leather from them is usually gonna sell for at least 50 bucks. So good brand to pick up. Thursday Boot Company is another good like shoe boot brand, leather boots that you could wear either to work or a business meeting, things like that. Thursday Boot Company makes expensive boots and I recently found them, had really great success with them. So I've been loving telling everybody about them, but they retail for like close to $400, $500. And so the resale on them is pretty good, pretty high. They also have, you know, not so tall, just like kind of casual more shoes that are leather. And um, those will resell for probably a little bit less than a boot, but I sold my boots in one day for over $100. So definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. Along with RM Williams, it looks very, very similar to like a Doc Martin pull tab kind of style and the Blundstones as well. Really nice, I think they're Australian made. They're also nice leather boots and they have resold for me for over $100 over and over again. So very nice pieces and for a hundred bucks, I'm gonna put those boots on the list, you know? So that one and then we have these which are red wing shoes and these are so nice but the hard part about these is at least in my area all of the goodwills know this brand they mark them up to the sky but you can resell them online for good money like 75 bucks 100 bucks pretty easily so depending again on what condition they're in definitely worth picking up and then we have chippewa which is not something i've found yet but very similar to the red wing shoes kind of in that they have like work and then leather boots kind of a similar looking style to be honest to that and also timberlands but those ones were reselling for around a hundred dollars so chippewa one to be on the lookout for and then we have aquitalia which i have found before but not for a low enough price to buy to resell this is one that i find sometimes at resale stores more like uptown cheapskate plato's closet things like that buffalo exchange but these boots can resell for a hundred dollars and a lot of the shoes in general have a good resale price and so especially if you're finding a nice pair of like leather boots from aquatalia they can do really well so be on the lookout for those and if you're liking the video so far do me a huge favor and give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe this is a lot of work for me so i would appreciate it so much even if you don't want to hit subscribe and stick around giving the video a thumbs up would mean a lot to me so thank you in advance for that now, next up we have kind of what I would deem my cowboy boot era. So Ariat is the first one. And I have been finding that my Ariat boots have been sitting for longer and not selling as quickly, but still a lot of pieces from Ariat can resell for around $75. So this is a brand that you have to be a little bit careful with. Some pieces are not gonna resell for as much as others. They're not all created equal in this brand. So you've gotta definitely look up the piece that you find, but boots from them can do really well. Same thing kind of with Fry. I really enjoy reselling Fry, not just boots, but I have found like slip-ons, I found heels, I've found cowboy boots, I found so many different kinds of shoes from Fry. A lot of them have still resold for me for over $50, a lot of times more than that. And so I love Fry, um, but again, a lot of thrift stores, at least in my area, know it and mark it up, which is frustrating. And then we have Tony Lama, and this is a really nice cowboy boot brand. Things were selling like hotcakes when I was doing my research and they are really cool cowboy boots that were reselling for around a hundred bucks pretty consistently. So again, look at that label and be on the lookout for it for sure. Um, same thing with the Twisted X cowboy boots. A lot of those, especially if they're more intricate, if the leather is more tooled, things like that, then it can resell for more, but around a hundred dollars is what you would kind of are expecting for cowboy boots from Twisted X. Cowboy boots in general, depending on how well they're made, if you can tell how well they're made by touch, 
then even if it's not a name brand, they can still do really well. Next up, we have Paul Green, which I just had a subscriber say that they found recently. So good for you, Paul Green, really nice brand. They don't just make boots, they make shoes, they make you know, lots of different kinds of shoes and footwear. So Paul Green is one to be on the lookout for. A lot of their pieces were selling for around 75 to $100. So definitely one to know. And then we have, I put this on the list, but I want to add some caveats to it. I'm ha I am have Jeffrey Campbell on the list. Now, some Jeffrey Campbell pieces do not sell well. <laughs> and I do find that like the Havana line, the Haviana, maybe it's Haviana. That one from Jeffrey Campbell definitely for me at least usually sits. Jeffrey Campbell, the weirder the piece is, the more outlandish, the more like hot couture, the more avant-garde the piece, usually it does better. So a lot of Jeffrey Campbell pieces will resell for around like $65. If you can find a nice piece that has, you know, either some character or is well-made or just is unique. And so I wanted to keep it on the list, but not all pieces are created equal from this brand either. If you're finding just like a slip on shoe, it's not gonna do as well. So that's Jeffrey Campbell. I put Ugg on my list because man, I have sold so many Ugg boots <laughs> for so much money. Recently, I just sold a pair of like winter Ugg boots for 120 bucks on eBay. And then Ugg boots just in general, even the ones that are just like pull on Ugg boots, I've sold for like 50 to 60 bucks pretty frequently. And then you also have like all of the other styles from Ugg and some of them can do really well. Their slippers are worth a ton of money. I've sold them so quickly over and over for 50 bucks. Slippers that are really worn. <laughs> so it's just one of those brands you need to like look up the style, but also recognize that even though um, they might have been like all the rage a few years ago, they're kind of coming back and they can do really well on the resale market. And then we have kind of a transition from Ugg into some more kind of more like slippery things. One of those is Halflinger and I have found this brand twice, both times in the bins. I've never found it anywhere else, but Halflinger makes some really nice like wool shoes that can resell for over 50, $75. And they're just wool slippers. So definitely one to be on the lookout for. They have a really cool like horse in their logo. Very interesting. And then something very similar to Halflinger is Geiswine, Geeswine. I've also found this in the bins, never found it anywhere else. And they are the same kind of comps, like 50 bucks and over that. So again, if you find a wool slipper, just in general, I would look it up. <laughs> you can tell usually by the feel, if it's like nice and thick and warm, it might be worth good money. Definitely worth at least checking. And then we have Sorel. Of course, I've talked about Sorel a few times now, but Sorel is one of those brands that their winter boots can do really well, like 65 and up. Um, sometimes they have like really tall boots. They have lots of things in between. They have kids shoes. The kids shoes don't do as well, but I sold many Sorel boots for 50 bucks and up. So she's on the list. Next up is Everlane. Everlane's shoes can do great. So I've sold, you know, the day glove, the slip on just flats. I've sold boss boots. I've sold the boss flats and all of them sell for like 65 on up. If you can find a pair of the boss boots, which is just like a leather pointed toe boot, they can resell for over a hundred dollars. So Everlane makes some really nice shoes and they also are pretty ethical as a company. So I'm behind them. I like it. I'm here for it. Then we have Tory Burch. I've sold many Tory Burch shoes and they also have the Riva flats, the ones with the label, the logo on the front of the toes do really well. I've sold just like platform flip flops from her for 50 bucks. I've sold, you know, boots from them would do really good. I've sold so many different Tory Burch shoes, but their shoes do really, really good. Even just like sandals and flip flops can sell for 50 bucks, which is amazing. And then we have Dansko, one of my favorite brands. It's a little easier to find. They're really nice for working in a hospital or being on your feet all day. They're clogs usually, but even their Mary Jane styles, those ones do really well. I found Dansko's in many different patterns, many different sizes, and pretty much almost always they sell for around 50 bucks for me and usually pretty quickly, depending on how cute they are. So I love that brand. I love reselling it. The next one is Legence, and I like selling this brand in general, but their shoes can do really well. I sold a pair of Legence boots that I did pay up for, unfortunately. I bought them retail arbitrage for $100. I resold them for $250 this week. So still, I'm making almost $100 in profit, but why did I spend $100 on them? But if you can find Legence shoes for a good price at a thrift store, then they're definitely worth picking up because those puppies can go for good money. <laughs> 
Then we have Vionic. This is more of maybe more mid-tier, maybe more bread and butter level, but Vionic makes some really nice shoes that are really kind of healthy for the feet. And so they're pretty popular, especially the older you get, the more you want to take care of like your feet, your back, your walking, and people as you get older usually have more money to buy their shoes. So Vionic has a pretty good sell rate and they also sell for pretty good money. So I would say I pick up almost all the Vionic shoes I can find if they are in good condition and not too expensive. And then they resell around like 40, 50, sometimes a little bit more, but it's not usually more than like 50 or 60. So a pretty good, like just mid tier level. Same thing with Fit Flop. Fit Flop is another one of those things where I have sold so many Fit Flops for like 35 bucks. And that's pretty much where they almost always land with me. Some of them are really cute. But they mostly, they don't get marked up a lot, usually because they are more like flip flops and just like sandals and things like that. So I really like that brand too. Then we have Donald J. Pliner and I included this because I have sold a lot of pieces from this brand. They're more mid tier as well. I would say maybe like 35 to 50 bucks, but they can still move for good money. And then this is one that I really is on my list of things I wanna find and that's number six. So just NO.6. And they are really known for their clogs. They make clogs, they make boots that have like a clog kind of feel to them. And they're really cool. And they have that really nice like wooden bottom, really cool looking shoes. And almost always they'll sell for around $100 if not more. So number six, it looks a lot like that Mix It 6 brand, but it's not that. <laughs> it's really like, it's really nice. Same thing with Fly London. They make some really nice shoes, a lot of good leather work on these. A lot of them are more like a like wedge style and they're really selling for like 50 to $75. So again, if you can find them for a good price, really can be worth it. Then we're into our final two and the second to last one is Irregular Choice. They make some very interesting shoes. A lot of the times they're heels but they have a lot of either patchworking or a theme to them, or they like just have something very special about them. When you see them, you know that they are probably worth something. I've sold one pair, I think for like 80 bucks. That's the only pair I've ever found. I've seen some really cool ones that are like Hello Kitty with like a Hello Kitty as the heel that's holding up the shoe. There are some Care Bear ones. And then there's just like floral ones that have a lot going on. They are a cool brand and if you can find them, their shoes will resell for around a hundred bucks, which is amazing. And then my very last brand on today's list is Converse, which is, just hold on a minute. It's, it's a little shocking because not all Converse sells well, but I'm talking here about collab pieces. So when we talked about Stella McCartney and her collab, those can do really well. Converse collabs, I'm thinking in my list of their collabs with Comme des Garçons and also Hello Kitty, like those have done really well for me and I know that they're worth good money. I sold a Hello Kitty Converse for over $100 on Mercari. I sold the Comme des Garçons Converse collection, I think for like 50, maybe $75. This was a while ago on Poshmark. If you can find a Converse collab, and this is helpful I think to know in general, that a lot of collabs are usually worth more than a single piece alone because you get the followers from both brands. So if you can find either like they have, I've seen Star Wars Converse, I've seen so many different like big industry like Converse, some of those can go for really good money. So they're almost always lo worth looking up at least. So I would highly recommend that. But those are the 50 shoe brands I have for you today. If you guys found this helpful or have any shoe brands to add to this list, put them in the comments and maybe you'll see them end up in a video in the future. It also is just helpful to help everyone out in the community because sometimes when you're just starting out, it can be really overwhelming to not know what brands are actually worth reselling and what brands are just worth leaving. So I'm here to help you guys. If you guys enjoyed today's video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. But Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.